All right, guys, this is the last video on creating the boomerang. At this point, once you have your wing, your single wing, you do not need to do the entire process all over again to do the second and third. All we need to do is use the pattern tool. That's why the pattern tool is so awesome. But what I need for the pattern is I need an axis going through the center point of the triangle in order to uh, rotate around that. So if I go to construction, uh, I can use one of these axis tools to put it right through um, my point. I'm going to try this one, perpendicular at point. In my first sketch, there was a center point that I think I can use for this. So let's see if that works. Oh, that's perfect. I put an axis perfectly perpendicular through my center point. That's what I needed. I can actually turn off the sketch. And just make sure before you're done that you turn that axis off. You don't have to delete it later. Let's see. I'm going to use, I don't want a rectangular pattern. I actually want a circular pattern. Let's see. Where's my pattern tool? Circular pattern. This is the body that I want to um, replicate. And instead of faces, I'm probably going to do features and select the loft. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Okay. And my axis is what I just created. Oh, look at that. And that looks pretty good. Now, if your center point wasn't exactly right, um, you may have some gaps around the triangle or everything may be offset a little bit. That should be easy enough if you go back and correct your center point. That should be easy to to fix. Uh, I want three and hit OK and let's see what happens. Oh, that looks perfect. A good indication is on the bottom if you don't see any lines between the triangle and uh, your wing, that tells you that you're spot on. On the top, it's actually a slightly different height, though, so that's normal, but on the bottom, it should be all smooth. I can turn my axis off, give myself a home view. Then the only thing I have to do left is just put my extruded initials right in here. Other than that, looks really, really good. This thing will fly when, once we uh, get the opportunity to 3D print this thing out. It'll be a lot of fun.